I like to call this little thing we do, like when I have a bucket of anything and the chickens think that I have treats, this is called the chicken parade because they all follow me like a parade. <laughs> anyway, good morning guys. It's a beautiful day this morning. It's nice and cool actually. It feels great out. Um, I've got a long list of things that I need to get done today, but who knows what's actually gonna get done today. The pigs usually get all of our scraps, but I'm feeling bad for the chickens right now, so I'm gonna give them the scraps. Those little clucks are actually the roosters telling the hens like, hey, there's food over here. Like, um, and I never knew that they did that until I had roosters this year. And um, like if they find an apple on the ground, like from the apple tree or whatever, they will stand there and do this little like head bop dance and do those little clucks and then all the hens will run over. That's how I figured out what they were saying. They didn't tell me what they were saying, but I'm gonna guess that's what they're saying. <laughs> and uh, it just kind of alerts the girls that like, hey, there's food over here. And then they will literally, they must have been hungry because they started eating first. Usually they will let all the girls eat first. Actually, I'm gonna take that back. My big white Brahma rooster does not care. He doesn't do those clucks very often. But my one Americana rooster, uh, who's obviously the better rooster always lets the girls first and always alerts them that there's food over there The big white one's just greedy Something that's on my list of things to do today is find something that I already have That I can turn into a chicken tractor So that's what I'm just wandering around the farm today looking for spare parts because I need to get those meat birds out on pasture. They're definitely ready to go now and out of that little brooder. All right, I think I found a prospect. So there was an old lean-to that was part of like this little pasture area behind me that this spring we had like straight line winds and it literally just like blew it over like it was nothing. I've got a couple tools. Uh, keep in mind that I have, have uh, minimal carpentry skills. I just understand how to operate equipment, kind of. Um, I just am hard-headed and strong-willed, and it's got me this far in life, and I ain't gonna stop now. And I'm gonna get this dismantled now. Got that on camera? You know when I was tearing that apart on the on the underneath, I saw what looks like an old wasp nest. I think they're still inhabiting that. And they chose kindness today because instead of immediately stinging me, <laughs> they just kinda one crawled on my leg. What do I do now? I'm scared of wasp. I don't have a bee suit. How am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to remove this wood without a bee suit? I think I'm gonna take a break for breakfast and regroup after that. All right, I'm back. I got a belly full of eggs and sausage. I'm feeling great now. I'm still gonna leave those bees alone, but in the meantime, 
Um, I'm going to rip the boards that I found in half. So they're treated two by fours, but I am going to rip them in half. So they're more like two by twos. For one, um, this structure doesn't need to be super heavy duty. We're only gonna use it a few times in a year. And for two, it needs to be lighter weight because I'm gonna be the one pulling it. I don't have a machine to pull it. And yeah. Okay, so I have figured out that I want my structure to be a seven by seven box. Uh, so I'm going to measure that on these boards, cut them to the length I want, and then rip them in half. Now that I have a boots full of sawdust, I'm gonna figure out how tall I want it to be. Anyway, I'm gonna make it easy on myself and find whatever wire mesh or chicken wire. I know that chicken wire is not the best option, but when you're trying to do something for free, you gotta use what you're gonna use. But anyway, I am going to find whatever I have the most of to uh, put around the sides and that's how tall my structure is gonna be because it's easier and you don't have to cut all the metal. All right, it's coming together now. I made a square, is it actually square? Probably, definitely not. You know why carpentry isn't, is something that I can do, but that I don't love to do? Because everything has to be precise, measured, and square, and that's not how my brain works. But we're getting it done, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna work. There's screws coming out here and there, but it's fine. Guys, I made this. I did this. I only have one boo-boo that I'm going to have to shave off with the multi-tool. But out of the whole thing, only having one mess up, I'll take it. Um, I also have, you can't see it, but I, t I have a blister. Um, I'm sweating profusely. So I think this is where I'm going to stop for right now. But I'm very happy about it. If I look like a hot mess, it's because I'm hot and we have been on a time crunch today trying to get the chicken tractor done so that we can get the birds out on pasture, but uh, it's due to rain here in about an hour or so. So I went out and picked all the tomatoes that I could uh, that were ripe before the rain came and split them all, but let's see. Oh, this one needs to go to the pigs because some little critter got it. Uh -huh. Got a sun gold. Mommy, I Brad's atomic grape. The best part about the purple tomatoes is the Mommy, cute little I star like that those. the stem puts on. I them. like those. You like them? It's my little tomato eater. Um, my husband helped me finish this uh, chicken tractor and he did all the sharp parts like metal. So we have this long patch um, of grass that goes all the way to the road that's still part of our property. It butts up to the neighbor's um, bean field that would be perfect to drag down uh, to finish these birds out. I plan on moving them like every day or every other day depending on how fast they go through the grass. But it's like the perfect width to pull them down. We'll just not be able to park our things here for the time being. These things are like heavy already. These birds are about three-ish weeks old. I'll have to go back and check. But I just picked them up to put them in there in the box and carry them over. 
they are already so heavy like and hot because the birds these like freakish birds grow so fast that their feathers can't keep up so they just look scraggly um so i'm touching their skin and they are so, like hot get your wing in little guy obviously this little guy's a rooster but they just their bodies grow faster than their um, feathers can grow so they're like raw chicken to me this is like what organic is all about chickens in the in the correct environment eating bugs scratching around um, living the best life that they possibly can while they're here I mean we all know what's going to happen to these birds but I want to give them the best life while um, they're still kicking Well, I'm feeling the first little sprinkles, so I think this is gonna conclude my uh, DIY chicken tractor that I made completely out of things that I already owned. So that was awesome. So this is where I leave you guys for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. We have a bunch of ranches. We always pick it. I can't just carry them all in my shirt. Yeah, two more. All of them are so small. Don't watch me eat one. Like this. Yeah, that's what I do.